Hey, it's Brian Burns, the host of the Brutal Truth About Sales and Selling podcast, here to talk to you today about warming up those cold calls. And why does a cold call fail most of the time? Because they don't understand why they should be listening to you. They understand who you are and you want to sell them something, but they don't understand how you are connected to them and why they should care. So the first thing you want to do and the purpose of warming up the cold call is to show a connection, a, a something that gets you to be think, get the listener to think that you guys have something in common to, to get away from the us versus them so that you become part of the us instead of the them. That is the key to warm up a cold call. Until you do it, it becomes an adversarial conversation. Some of the easiest ways of doing this is to say that we're both on the same side. And how do you do that? You have something in common. In the old days, when you had face-to-face -face meetings, you would talk about the fishing or their hobby, the golfing trophy that they have on their desk, something of common interest, something that they were interested in that you could discuss as a way of breaking the ice, a social nicety to say that we both have this in common. We have this all the time in social events where we talk about the food, the music, the venue, the kids. Whatever it is, is a way of warming up the conversation because without this it's an infomercial it's not it's a monologue it's a one-way conversation so we have to find something in common and there's nothing better to have in common than a friend another person someone else that we both know that we both have a relationship and we can garnish that relationship into our relationship with them where we both know Joey or Triviano or whoever and we have some context of how we know them and how we can leverage them into our conversation. Now of course we don't always have that and this is a, a nicety, a luxury of having but we can always have a small group that we belong to in some way. It, it could be as vague as, you know, grew up in the same state or the same region or the same time frame. Something that we have in common. Again, we want to become part of the us instead of the them. we got to become part of their world instead of us being a separate world where we're trying to just get their money. Other things are hot topics that we both have in common. This can be music, industry topics, some kind of commonality. And today, we have the most amount of intelligence um, to avail available to us via our fingertips through Google, through social networks to find out about somebody. Spend the five minutes before you make a cold call to warm it up and find something that you have in common, a topic, a friend a location, a school. School's a great one to have in common because we spent four years or so in this school and it doesn't have to be even in the same time frame. It, it, it could be just the major as far as a topic, but something in common. This is the easiest, the fastest, the most powerful way to warm up your cold call. If you found this interesting and valuable, please like it and share it. If you'd like to learn more about the brutal truth about sales and selling, it's on iTunes and Stitcher. You put it on your smartphone and you can listen to it. We publish twice a week. Have great products that we can talk to you about, great topics, great guests to listen to, all about how sales has changed and what works today. Thanks for watching.